early days of uh, the development of immunotherapy, the old saw was that melanoma was the immunogenic tumor. And uh, many immunotherapies like interleukin-2 and interferon were developed for melanoma. And indeed, melanoma is an immunogenic malignancy. It can spontaneously regress. It responds to many different types of these treatments. And there's clear evidence that the immune infiltrate in a melanoma is associated with a good outcome. But there's no reason a priori why you shouldn't be able to treat any cancer with immunotherapy because theoretically every cancer should carry within it the ability to be recognized because all cancers have mutations, genetic changes. And when there's that genetic change, if it's in a gene that makes something that can be shown at the surface of the cancer cell, it could be recognized as different, as non-self. And that's the whole revelation that it's these mutations that lead to the ability to mount an immune response. So melanoma was always in the vanguard and for the PD-1 antibodies and the CTLA-4 antibody ipilimumab, melanoma was the first cancer with which they or in which they were approved. But then came non-small cell lung cancer and we have squamous cancer and we call them non-squamous cancer. And PD-1 antibodies, in fact, there were two of them, nivolumab and pembrolizumab, were then approved for non-small cell lung cancer. And then you have kidney cancer, which has always been regarded as somewhat of an immunogenic tumor. And now we have terrific evidence with multiple antibodies that bladder cancer is susceptible to immunotherapy, that there's benefit for patients with metastatic bladder cancer treated with PD-1 or PD-L1 antibodies head and neck cancer, ovarian cancer, Hodgkin's disease, uh, a whole variety of malignancies will soon enough be shown to be susceptible to treatment with these immunotherapeutic agents, particularly these checkpoint inhibitors. And I think in the next five years, you're gonna have seven or eight new cancers for which there is an approval with these antibodies. And uh, I, I think of it as what we call the Rodney Dangerfield effect. Rodney Dangerfield was an American comedian who died, oh, at least a decade ago. And he always had a stock line. And his stock line was, I don't get no respect. Immunotherapy didn't have the respect it really merited until the revelation that the checkpoint inhibitors actually were active in a broad variety of malignancies. So all of a sudden, immunotherapy is in the mainstream of cancer treatment. And it's going to only get better and better as time goes on. And I think more patients will benefit. So almost. Almost any cancer could be treatable with immunotherapy.